I want to make it real clear that I am no hero. My daughters are the heroes and all the victims and the survivors of this a terrible atrocity. I would ask you to, as part of this sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this <laughs> demon. Would you do that? Yes or no? Would you give me one minute? You know that I can't do that. That's not how it is. Well, I'm going to have to get it. When I had to hear what was said in those statements, and I have to look over at Larry Nasser shaking his head. That's when I lost control. I'm not advocating that everyone should do that. I feel very remorseful, um, very apologetic. I was embarrassed. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah. Stay down. I understand. I will tell you that I believe in God Almighty. I believe in heaven and hell. And I can only hope when the day comes that Larry Nasser has ended his days on this earth that he will be escorted to one of the deepest, darkest, hottest pits in hell there is. It was hard for my dad to hear what each of us experienced explicitly for the first time today. And it's easy to get caught up when emotions are running high. He reacted in a way that I feel most fathers would have done and probably wanted to do in a situation like this. But after reflecting on what happened earlier, my father is, re is remorseful and justice cannot be served by one individual. It must go through the judicial system.